This is a Singer 99. I'm going to show you how to wind the bobbin and thread the machine so you are ready to sew. Let's start with winding our bobbin and it is a class 66 bobbin and the good news is these are still really easy to find and even buy new. So we're going to start with this. There are a couple steps you have to take before you want to wind a bobbin on a 99. First, you want to engage the stop motion feature on the hand wheel. That's going to keep your needle bar from moving up and down while you're winding your bobbin. The way that you do that is you hold the hand wheel still. And then if you see this knob right here, you're going to hold the hand wheel still, grasp the knob and turn it counterclockwise just till it stops. It will only go so far. That's the first thing you want to do before you wind a bobbin. Now we can put our bobbin onto our bobbin winder. And I want you to look because what you're going to find on your bobbin winder is a little pin that sticks out right here. If you look at your bobbins, there's a hole that that little pin is going to fit into and it's on both sides. There's not a top or a bottom. So you just want to put it onto the bobbin winder and let that pin into the hole on the bobbin. Now we can add our thread. So your thread sits on the spool pin up on top of your machine. Then you're going to take it through this little hook right here on the front of the machine. Now pull the thread and do you see this little S? Well, it's a backwards S. The thread needs to run through this S. So going from the front, push it through the bottom opening and then bring it around and pull it through the top opening. That's what's going to give some tension on our bobbin so it's a nice tight wind, it's not too loose. Finally, you're going to find the other hole on your bobbin and you're going to run the thread through that hole from the inside to the outside. And yes, your bobbin may pop off the pin. Don't worry about it, just slide it back on. Now that you have the bobbin on the bobbin winder and the pin is in place, do you see this lever here? Push it down. Now that's going to hold your bobbin in place so it doesn't fly off the pin. And it's also going to push this tire against the hand wheel. All we have to do now is hold the tail and you can press the button on your foot control and watch your bobbin wind. Now, once you get enough thread on your bobbin, you can just snip off that tail and then continue to wind the bobbin until it's as full as you want it. I want to show you what happens if I wind this bobbin all the way. Do you see that? This popped up, the tire pushed away from the hand wheel and the bobbin stopped winding and it is full. Now we can snip our thread and our bobbin is ready to go. And just remember, you don't have to wind every bobbin so it's completely full, but that is a feature that the 99 has. When the bobbin's full, it will spring away from the hand wheel and stop winding. But you can always take it off sooner if you only needed half of the bobbin full for your project. So let's put this bobbin in. Right here on the bed at the end, you'll see there's this little groove. This is just something you pull out and it's going to expose the bobbin case for us. When you put the bobbin in, do you see the thread here, how it's winding around the bobbin? I'm holding it so it winds counterclockwise. Don't put it in so it winds clockwise. Instead, put it in so if you're winding the thread, it's going counterclockwise. And all you have to do is just drop it right in. Now, if you look at this bobbin case, right back here is a little cutout. 
I want to make sure that you can see it. I'm going to hold my finger on the bobbin and I'm going to pull that thread in to that cutout and all the way through until it stops. Now I can just pull this over and do you see this cutout here? As I shut this door, as I push it shut, I'm going to let the thread come into that cutout and then just shut it. Now this is ready for us to finish threading. Before you start threading, hold your hand wheel and grab the stop motion knob and turn it back clockwise until it's tight. Now before we thread up the machine, we want to add our needle. Your needle has a flat side. That flat side points towards this thumb screw, not out, not backwards, towards the thumb screw. So I'm looking at my flat side of my needle. And then if I look over on the side, if I look at the machine from this angle, I can see a cutout. Let me show you. Right here is a little cutout. That's where my needle is going to slide into. So my flat side is pointing towards this thumb screw. I'm just lining it up and I'm sliding the needle up in as far as it will go. And then with my other hand, while I'm holding it in place, I'm tightening down that thumb screw. And I'm checking that needle's not popping out. It's ready to go. So our thread is still on top from winding the bobbin. It stays there. We take our thread and then we put it through the first hook up here on the front of the machine. Now the thread needs to go through the tension assembly and you need to do this the right way. So I like to hold the thread still, like I have, you know, eight or nine inches of thread pulled. I use my finger and hold the thread still and I take my thread and I'm going to put it between these two tension discs. You need to have your foot up when you do this. So watch my thread, it's not going back here, it's going between the two tension discs. Now I'm going to pull it up and I want to catch it into this little spring and the way that you do that is you pull it forward, watch it going over the spring, and it will go behind the little arm and then I bring it back and now watch. When I pull it, if I'm holding the thread still up here, the spring moves. So now that it's in the spring, we're going to take the thread and we're going to pull it under the slack thread regulator. It's really tempting to want to put it in this hole here. Don't do that. It doesn't go there. It just goes under it. Next, you can take the end of your thread and feed it through the eye of the thread take up. And then right here is another thread guide. And if you just kind of hold each end of your thread and run it behind it and pull it towards you, it will snap into place. Now down here is another thread guide and you can feed it right behind it like that. This might pop out when you're threading your needle. Don't worry, you can put it back. So the last thing we have to do is to thread our needle. So the needle is threaded from the outside in or left to right. And you can remember that because this thread guide is here. So it would make sense. Your thread's coming down. It's going to meet the needle on the left side. and our machine is threaded, but we're not done. Before we start sewing, we want our needle thread to pick up our bobbin thread. So I like to tuck that needle thread into the grooves in the hook. And now you can put your foot down when you do this if you want. So with your foot down, that gives the right tension on the thread. And that's how you normally would do it. I'm going to have the foot up and keep tension on the thread so you can see the bobbin thread come up. So I'm keeping some tension here and I'm turning the hand wheel towards me. My needle comes down and I'm just pulling this thread, keeping the tension. And you can see it's grabbed my bobbin thread and I can just pull the bobbin thread out. And now it really is ready to sew. So that's how you thread up. 
a Singer 99. Now when you're ready to get rid of your bobbin and change your colors or you run out of bobbin thread, the way the bobbin comes out is so simple. There's a little button right here. If you just push it down, you can easily pick up your bobbin and pull it out. I hope that helps. Have fun sewing on your Singer 99.